What is going on? Welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu Outlet. I'm here backstage at the PGF with a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, a true master of the art, Mr. Jake Watson. What is up, brother? Wow, a master. I wouldn't call myself a master of the art by any stretch of the imagination, but I am flattered. Thank Dude, you. Dude, you really have us all fooled into thinking that you're not competing here this weekend, but we all know that you're secretly about to jump up off of those couches at any moment. And you're actually, I know, the secret alternate. What do you have to say about to the, shatter those, any, those rumors? To shatter any rumor that I'm competing. This event, first of all, I wasn't drafted okay. at all. Okay. So there's no Undertaker, okay. me taking off my suit, getting on the mat. Also, it's 175 pounds is the weight limit. Okay. And I am 40 pounds above that weight limit. So I don't okay. think that there's okay. going to be some sort of absolute Pride FC secret entrance by Jake Watts in this event. I think I'm going to stick to the pre-show, post-show, capturing footage on the side. Maybe a future season of PGF. I'm not taking okay. that away. Okay. Future season okay. of PGF World, I would love to be a part of. I okay. train super hard for it, but not this one. Okay, so what I heard from you is that you were an alternate, but then you saw Mr. Nathan had it over there being a badass, and you decided maybe you're going to bow out of this I think one. Nathan Haddad, with how he's grappling this entire week, would likely rip my head clean off my body and it would actually be such a clean ripping my head off my body that I would be able to put it back on with minimal surgery. Jake, I got He is that precise this weekend. Jake, I got to stop you right there. I'm trying to monetize this show on YouTube. No, he wouldn't actually do that. The description that you're trying to do is a little bit too violent right now. Um, I apologize. This is like some Rumble content. I don't know about this stuff. <laughs> you better put it on Rumble. <laughs> yeah. Put it on True Social. True Social. But, yes. dude, I want to segue into talking about Mr. Nathan Haddad. Yep. So one of, he's a lot of people's dark horse right now. Mm -hmm. What's your take on this guy? I believe he's going to make the finals, and here's why. Uh, the finals, uh, the final bracket, I mean. Uh, and, and because he came into this bracket seated past, I think, 14th. He, he was seated in the, in the bottom five. Right. And that's because people don't pay attention a lot to the, the IBJJF competition scene in no gi, but he's been competing gi, no gi at the highest level. He comes in as a submission hunter, nearly submitting PJ Barch on day one. He's had great matches, he's rallying the crowd. I think he's actually kicking up in intensity, and right. he was able to mitigate Andy Varela. Now, I will say that there is no bias and there is no partiality with me as a broadcaster, as a commentator. That's just my objective outlook. He is uh, ranked, I believe, eight right yeah. now. He's okay. in the top eight right now. And so if he has a good showing today, he will make that final, or not will, but he's a good shot at making that final bracket. And I okay. think that, you know, if I had to put my uh, my prediction somewhere, then I would say that's probably what's going to happen. So let me ask you this. Nathan Haddad is, you know, a lot of people have him as their dark horse pick right now, but I'd say a lot of other people have Jet Thompson as their dark horse pick. What do you think about that guy? I think the, Jet Thompson. showing he's had. Jet Thompson is the scariest high school junior I have ever met. He's still a junior? He's 17 years that's, old, dude. That guy can't even buy a Costco membership card. He is... I thought Absolutely he was at least a ruthless. And I think that, yeah, a lot of people are picking the dark horse, but I mean, after how he grappled day one and day two, I mean, he opened up the tournament. He, or I can't even call it a tournament. He opened up the regular season with a submission victory over John Combs. A yes, lot of people thought John ass. Combs would make it to the top eight as well. And, you know, he's uh, currently battling an injury right now. We're waiting to receive some updates as to whether or not he'll be able to continue in the regular season. Uh, there's definitely some shakeups happening, man. I mean, PJ Barch is, I think he's got like three points on the board. He's the number one seed. He's struggling. Yeah. He's got to have a really good performance today if he wants to have a hope of making it into the top eight. Right. Today and tomorrow is going to tell a lot. I think it's, uh, if the athletes who have been struggling in the regular season thus far in this second half can make big changes, then we could see the whole thing flip on its head. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on this show, doing a little so. segment here, breaking it down. Appreciate everything you're doing, man. Thank you, sir. Keep it up, dude. Keep up the great work at Jiu-Jitsu Outlet. We try here. What is going on? Welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu Outlet. I'm here backstage at the PGF with Mr. Tim Elliott. Freeman. Oh, <laughs> Tim Elliott's Elliott. the fighter. I, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny, though. That's a blooper reel, right? Yeah, there. that is great. That's a, what is going on? Welcome back to Jiu-Jitsu Outlet. I'm here backstage at the PGF with Mr. Tim Freeman from Inside BJJ. What is up, brother? How are you doing? Man. I'm doing well. I'm stoked to be here. It's been a great event so far. Season six has really like fulfilled everything that I thought it would, was going to be. And then even then some. Right. So pretty, pretty exciting experience so far. Yeah, 100%. The first day, the matches took a little while to get off the ground. But then as soon as we kind of saw yesterday, the referees pushing the action with the stalling a little bit more. 
we've seen some epic matches. Dude. Yeah. And now I think night three, we're going to see some super epic matches because everyone now needs to score. So, dude, give me your prediction. What do you think is going to happen here at night in this third night? So I think that like day three or night three is the night where if you don't make a mark, if you don't get out there early, you're not going to get out there. Like if you if you leave today with zero on the scoreboard, you're done. You're not making the playoffs. Like it's going to be too difficult to do. So I expect to see guys like Hanato Canuto, PJ Barch, Max Hansen to really make a push. Right. And it looks like Canuto, he got that fast sub last night. Maybe he's kind of going to turn it around. Barch had a real tough match with Andy Varela. And now that that's out of the way, we see Barch came right back, got a submission. So I think those two guys are going to really make a push today to get on the board. The top of the pack, I don't expect that to change. I think those guys are pretty consistent. Asare, Sattler, uh, who else is up there? Varela's up there. I think Carlton, David Evers, those guys are kind of right around yeah. that side. So I think they're gonna stay up there. So yeah, man, it's uh, it's pretty, pretty wild. So I think we're gonna see a lot of action today. Love it, man. Well, let me ask you this. It's a question I like to ask everyone on the show. How do you think jiu-jitsu has helped your mental health since you started training? So, you know, I've been training for a long time, right? Started in 2005. And definitely it's something that teaches you that you can do very, very difficult things, even things that you don't necessarily think that you would be able to do, Right. you know? And instead of when those kinds of things come up on you, instead of dealing with like getting really anxious or maybe even getting down or maybe getting like avoiding things where you're like, I'm just gonna go hole up in my house. I'm not gonna go out. I'm under so much pressure. Jiu Jitsu kind of teaches you like, hey man, build some frames, relax, get a little wiggle room. You can work through this. And so that's that's kind of how it's it's helped me. I've seen it help a lot of my students, a lot, you know, because right. it's, a, it's a place where when you come on the mat, it doesn't matter who you are in the outside world. It's like, what are you doing right there? And it kind of gives you a chance to express yourself in a different way, so. Dude, that's such yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. It's like this powerful form of art. Yeah, it's like a physical, we know there's physical therapy, but yeah. it's like a different kind of physical therapy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, I really appreciate you being here. Um, I know you've got a show yourself, right? Yeah, you so Inside, Inside BJJ. BJJ. Yeah. It's a podcast, right? It's a podcast, and we also produce the video of it, okay. but it's mostly a video of a podcast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this. What have been some of your big takeaways from doing the show? Wow. So uh, a few things. One is if you really want to do something, you could do it because that was me. I didn't know anything about audio. I didn't know anything about video. I didn't even know very many people in jujitsu when I started. I just started it. Right. right? And, it, and, and I just kept doing it and it worked. The other takeaways are that jujitsu is blowing up. Yeah. Like 100%. it's blowing up bigger than what we ever thought it was probably going to be. Like we, everyone kind of wanted it to grow but it was kind of like, there's no money in it. What are we gonna do? And I would say like the last five years, it's been an accelerated pace. And especially yeah. this year, to me, I've realized this is bigger than what I thought it was. Oh yeah. Which is pretty exciting. Awesome. So being able to have contacts in the jiu-jitsu world, I think that's been the biggest asset of the show. And it's really helped me kind of figure out what's going on right now. So yeah. yeah. Love it, man. Well, Tim, thanks for joining us here. Let's go watch these matches. Appreciate thanks, brother. You, brother. Appreciate it. Thank thanks, you so man. Much.